fuck about incisions at this point. Incisions can be a variety of different locations. Uh, traditionally, whenever you're using a saline implant, you have a few different options. You have incisions that are up underneath the arm, you have incisions that are around the nipple and areola, or you have ones that are underneath the breast. And the reason with a saline implant you can use any of those incisions is because this one has a valve that I fill after it is inside the breast pocket. So I can slip it in through a very small incision, fill it up, and it takes on the right shape. Whereas if you are using a silicone implant, a silicone implant comes pre-filled. And that means that we have to try to fit this implant in without damaging it. So in most cases, we're talking about putting in a silicone implant through an incision that is underneath the breast called the inframammary fold. And that allows us to put this implant in there without damaging it. In addition, that particular incision has the possibility of replacing the implant at some point in the future, whereas if you use, say, an incision that's under the arm, then that makes it much, much more challenging to have a revision surgery at some point in the future because of that.